Here's problem 3517. An aquarium contains a 5 centimeter layer of water, N equal to 1.33, flowing on top of carbon tetrachloride, N equal to 1.461. If the angle of incidence into the water from the air is 30 degrees, what is the angle of refraction into the carbon tetrachloride? All right, let's imagine what we got here. We got a layer of water, and we're going from air, so that'll be our first index, 1.0, to water, which is 1.33, to carbon tetrachloride, which is 1.461. And we have a ray coming in with an angle of incidence of 30 degrees. So it's going to refract towards the normal as we're going from a lower index to a higher index. And then it's going to hit the carbon tetrachloride. And it's going to refract towards the normal again because we're going from a uh, lower index to a higher index in each case. So it's going to bend inward towards the normal in each case. Sounds good. Our angle of incidence, which I'll call theta 1, is our angle in the air. And then we're going to have an angle theta 2, which will be our refracted angle in the water. But because of these parallel lines, and one line intersecting, the blue line intersecting, the angle of incidence from the water into the carbon tetrachloride will be the same as the angle of refraction from the air into the water. So those internal angles will be equal, theta 2. And then I'll have a theta 3 for this angle as we go into um, the carbon tetrachloride. For each interface, though, Snell's law will apply. So we'll have N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. And for the fact that uh, theta Theta 2 is the same for the angle of refraction into the water as the angle of incidence into the carbon tetrachloride. Then we'll have Snell's law between the second interface, N2 sine theta 2 equals N3 sine theta 3. So all these are the same. And in fact, I can relate then N1 sine theta 1 directly to N3 sine theta 3. And if I want to get theta 3, I'll solve for that. So theta 3 will equal the inverse sine of index 1 over index 3 sine theta 1. So that's going to be the inverse sine of 1 over 1.461 sine 30 degrees. And what is that? twenty point zero degrees. So the angle of refraction from the water into the carbon tetrachloride is twenty degrees, twenty point zero degrees. And even if we had used uh, this information about N2 sine theta 2 and did all that work, we would have come up with the same answer, twenty point zero degrees. So in this particular problem, the information that we have a five centimeter layer of water um, the, the thickness doesn't matter, so that's extraneous information. And the fact that we had water itself as our second um, material is somewhat extraneous information because we didn't actually use that information. So we could have had a layer of um, uh, basically any material in between there um, as long as that material were um, uh, in between the indices of refraction of the air and the carbon tetrachloride. So that's our answer, 20 degrees.